everybody, welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to draw something very simple. Compared to the Chinese dragon anyway, this will be pretty simple. And we're going to draw a dagger. So a dagger is sort of like a sword, and the basic shapes are pretty much a rectangle and a square and a few lines. So let's begin by drawing the rectangle. And a rectangle sort of looks like, you know, a really long ruler, and that's what we're going to need to draw today. So we're going to start with the top left line of this ruler, just like that, on an angle. And we'll draw the thickness. My dagger's pretty thin. And we'll draw the right line to this dagger. And there you have it. This is the length of the dagger. Everything should fit into that. The next step is we'll draw the hilt of the dagger right here. Uh, or actually, it's the butt. This is the butt of the dagger, and the hilt will go right here, down the middle. Halfway down here, we're going to draw a line all the way across. And this is where the hilt is going to be. And uh, pretty much, that's the basic shape of a dagger. There's nothing more to it than that. At the tip here, we're going to give it a little point, a curved point. So it's a little triangle over here. All basic shapes, pretty simple. Keep your lines light so that you can erase them like this one. There you go, that one's done. And then we're going to play around with adding more details to these items. And so the hilt is what helps you protect your hand from sword cuts that come down. They'll block that sword or your adversary's sword. And you can draw them in multiple different ways. I'm just going to curve the line here uh, to reach the handle like that. So the hilt is curved on the back end. And we're going to erase the lines inside that. Just like that. All right. Then the next step is to actually draw uh, the triangle at the tip here, at the beginning of the blade, that's how the blade is inset within the handle. And on the handle, we're going to wrap it with a bunch of leather. So there's leather wrapped around here. And we're going to draw the lines of that those leather strips. Now the leather strips are not straight per se. We can make, draw those in different ways. They don't have to be parallel. They can go, they can look like a bunch of letter K's and letter Y's really when you're doing this. And it helps you hold the handle so your hand doesn't slip off. Uh, or you don't drop the blade. And we're going to curve the edges to this wrapping so it looks more 3D, it looks more wrapped. Gives it more volume. Make those lines a little darker. There you go. And then what I want to do is, is to draw the, the hilt part and give curves to the ends. So I'm going to curve this out like this. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And you can do whatever you like as far as your design is concerned. You can add jewels to this or marbles or whatever you want. Uh, this is your sword. You draw it the way you want it to be. There you go. This is my uh, little dagger uh, shape to it. And that's pretty much it. The next step is to draw a uh, little line going down the blade here. This line will show that there is depth to the blade. It's bent in that area or there's a slope to either side of that. And... Uh, that's pretty much the basic elements to the dagger. The next step is you can add a skull to the top. I'd like to have a skull there, or, or maybe I'll put it in the middle. I think the middle could be a great place to have a skull. I'll put it over here instead, and um, I think it'll have a nice design to have the skull here. So we're going to draw a skull shape, which is essentially a curved line, sort of like a circle, and a little rectangle attached to the bottom, like that. If you want to learn how to draw a skull, go see my skull video. This one will help you uh, in drawing this little element to the dagger that we're doing today. Uh, it's not too difficult though, so you make sort of like a, a pear shape, or it can look like an upside down jug, and add these little uh, bony cheek features, or handles to the jug if you like, upside down jug, and add a skull design. So like the teeth, nostrils here, and the scowly eyes. Angry skull, you know. I don't know that a skull can be angry, but why not? There you go. So that's the basic design of a dagger. The next step is actually darkening the lines we want to keep. So we don't have to do too much erasing today, and that's proof that our drawing is pretty simple. And if you have to erase, that's fine. Make sure to keep your lines light so that you can erase them properly. And now we're going to shade the inside of the dagger because there is a slope to the dagger, and the shading will actually establish that. So I'm going to shade down all the way down the left side of the dagger here. And that gives an idea of there's, there's a little slope here to this blade, just like that. And on the other side, uh, later on, we'll add little reflections to it. Before that, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to this blade because the skull is actually blocking the light that's uh, coming from the top right side. And so it's 
making a shadow onto the blade here. And I'm going to darken that underneath there because the light doesn't make it there. Can't reach inside there. So we'll make it really nice and dark. And then we'll do the reflections I said. So all you need to do is pull down a few lines like this, not color it fully. Leave some a lot of white on this side so it looks like the light is actually shining off of that blade. Not bad. All right, erase that. And erase the, the page a little bit, make it cleaner. Then what we want to do is shade the skull. And the skull is actually a, a spherical shape, just like the, the butt of the sword here of the dagger. And so we need to shade it in a circular motion. So the light's coming this way. We want to shade it this angle at the top. And so in a circular motion, we want to hatch uh, those lines here, hatch the skull. And the hilt, of course, is producing a shadow here. So we're going to darken that part here at the top of the skull. The light can't make it there either. And there's a little bit of a thickness to the skull here. And it's uh, coming off the blade. It's 3D2, so I'm going to darken that part. And then we're going to darken the lines to the hilt. There's one. There's a third. A uh, second, actually. <laughs> and a third. And then we're going to darken the handle here. Uh, because we want a nice contrast to the sword. We want it to look like a darker material. So this is leather. We're going to make it darker than the rest. So I'm going to shade in the whole thing from hilt to butt. And then I'm going to darken the top part uh, so that there's an, a volume effect, a 3D effect to this handle. And you can have fun. You can make this a lot darker than mine or you can make it lighter or not shade it in at all if you don't want to. Remember, this is your imagination. I'm just here to help you out. You can do whatever you want. And I'm going to redarken these lines uh, that separate each of those little strips of leather so that we can see them a little bit better. There you go. Hey, okay, not bad. Next step is to finish the butt of my dagger here. And I'm going to redraw the lines of that sphere. It's a circle now, but it has to end up looking like a sphere. And so the shading is very important in this sense. So we're going to shade in the circular uh, curves. And to make it look very reflective, we're going to add uh, or to let white areas uh, remain. And we're going to darken darker lines and lighter lines uh, in amongst each other. So it looks like there's reflection. If ever you have anything like shiny, like a doorknob maybe in your house, uh, this could be a great opportunity to look at that doorknob and see what it looks like because your uh, butt of the sword here can look exactly like that. It's a very highly reflective surface, and there's a bunch of lines in there that reflect stuff from the environment of that uh, highly shiny object. There you go, I'm sort of happy with that. And don't forget that the butt has to be producing a shadow onto the handle, because it will give it a more of a 3D look to it. All right, and the last step is to color in the hilt. And the hilt is a sort of flat surface uh, with curved ends here to my uh, uh, hilt sides. And I'm just going to color in, you know, random lines essentially to make it look like it's a reflective surface as well. This could be made of chrome or gold, as I said earlier, or, uh, or bronze or something. And so this is a, a polished material. And that, is, in essence, is pretty much uh, the, uh, the, the sword or the dagger. It's really that simple. And I hope you enjoyed this one today. Hopefully it's a less stressful drawing to make for you guys. And, and if you'd like to share your drawings with me, make sure to send your drawings to paolomaroni100 at gmail.com. It'll be a pleasure to look at them and put them on my website. See you next time, guys. Have fun. Have a great day.